Hi everyone, in this tutorial you're going to learn about how to take a motion from iClone and convert it to FBX for use on a 3DS Studio biped character. Here's a preview of the motion I'm using on my iClone character in iMotion format, and the final FBX motion on my 3DS Max frog character. So what you'll want to eventually get into first is to export the character with all of the bone skin data into FBX format. Okay, first I want to make sure that my character in Max is in a proper T-pose, and then export the character with all the bone skin data into FBX format. Make sure that you include the Autodesk Media and Entertainment preset when you're exporting, and also remember to click the Embed Media option as well. So once I'm in 3D Exchange, the first thing I want to do is open up the FBX of my little frog dude. In order to make him compatible with iClone motions, we'll first need to run him through the characterization process in 3D Exchange. To begin this process, simply click Convert to Non-Standard to move to the bone mapping step. Because this is a Character Studio biped character, the mapping can easily be done by selecting the corresponding preset in the preset drop-down menu. Once this is done, I'll click the Active box and begin to adjust the T-pose to the ideal posture for 3D Exchange. It seems like he only needs a little tilt forward and that's about it. After that, I can select any preview motions and see how they work out. And if they're fine, move on to the next step of our conversion process, selecting Convert. What we want to do next is load in some motions from the motion library to make sure they work fine on my character. You can make any necessary adjustments to the T-pose of your character here. Next, you simply need to move the motions you wish to export down to the Perform menu by selecting Add to Perform, and then go over to FBX Export. From there, make sure you select the 3ds Max Target Tool preset. Because we already have the character in 3ds Max, we don't necessarily need to export the geometry, but you can do so if you wish. I'll just enter in a different name for my export as well. Alright, let's go back into 3ds Max and import in the file we just exported from 3D Exchange. When I do this, I'm going to ensure that Add and Update Animation is selected, and then choose my animation take. Once I finish the import, the FBX motion will be loaded into the CS biped character automatically. Here you can see me scroll through the entire animation. If you want to make further motion edits, you'll need to select the CS bones to enable motion layer editing. After that, you can create a new motion layer to edit any pose you'd like if they are overlapping issues or such. Due to different character proportions, there may be certain areas that experience mesh penetration, such as right here where my frog's arm is going through his belly. Here I'll just do some minor motion layer editing in Max, to alter the trajectory of my arm slightly to adapt to the frog's belly. Just a little bit of adjusting here and there by adding keyframes, and it will look a lot better in the end. I can do the same thing here, where you see during the clapping motion, my character's hands are overlapping. Small motion layer editing can fix this as well. So as you can see, it's not too hard to take any motion in iClone format and convert it for use on any of your characters in 3ds Max or other CG software that accepts FBX animation. The limits are endless. 